Atlanta's St. Regis Hotel was the scene of the 2011 CFO of the Year Banquet, and the creme de la creme of the city's financial community were just easing back in their chairs for the dessert course when keynoter Jimmy Barge blew the doors off the place. Jimmy is CFO of Viacom, the world's fifth largest media conglomerate, and he brought with him a promotional video that he calls his sizzle reel. When he hit the play button and Viacom properties started rocketing across a video screen at MTV volume levels, a room full of accountants subconsciously reached for their seat belts. Viacom's entertainment empire consists of everything from Paramount Pictures' Mission Impossible franchise to kids' favorite Dora the Explorer to Comedy Central offerings like The Colbert Report. The company's internet and TV properties represent 170 channels serving 600 million homes in more than 160 countries. And Jimmy Barch, who graduated summa cum laude from the Terry College in 1978, is responsible for Viacom's global tax and treasury operations, as well as the company's IT and risk management activities. He's come a long way since his childhood days in Southwest Atlanta, when he dreamed of becoming a major league baseball player and delivered newspapers to earn spending money. Jimmy's mother worked at Fort McPherson in the Third Army's transportation office. His father loaded trucks for J.C. Penney. And prior to college, Jimmy had little use for school. I'm the only person to make partner at Ernst & Young after failing the fourth grade, says Jimmy, who enjoys poking fun at his early years as a party boy and academic misfit. My freshman year at Georgia, I showed up at drop ad without having pre-registered for a single class. Jimmy surprised himself by making straight A's his first quarter. Accounting 101 resonated with him, and he got involved with Beta Alpha Psi Accounting Fraternity, where he was introduced to many of the top firms. I've been fortunate in that I've only had three jobs, says Jimmy, who hit the trifecta with Ernst & Young, Time Warner, and Viacom. His E&Y career began in Atlanta in 1978 and included an exchange program in London, a five-year stint back in Atlanta, a two-year fellowship at the SEC in Washington, D.C., and a tour of duty in Los Angeles, where he worked on E&Y's Warner Brothers account and caught the eye of the studio's parent company, Time Warner. While working on E&Y's Coca-Cola account, Jimmy assisted Doug Ivester and company in the acquisition of the Coca-Cola bottling company. In 1996, as controller at Time Warner, he helped consummate the $6 billion acquisition of Turner Broadcasting. Considering where he ended up, it's ironic that Jimmy's summer jobs at Six Flags over Georgia were perhaps the most pivotal juncture of his life. In his second summer at Six Flags, Jimmy was named Employee of the Year and awarded a $500 college scholarship. Susan Spiegel, who took tickets at the back gate, was another game changer. She and Jimmy will soon celebrate their 32nd wedding anniversary. They have two children, son Andrew, who is a software engineer for Capgemini in Los Angeles, and daughter Jamie, who competes on the professional equestrian circuit. Jimmy's competitive DNA is apparent in how this avid sportsman and world traveler throws himself into his leisure time activities. He ran the Boston Marathon in three hours and 19 minutes, finishing three seconds under the male over 40 qualifying time. An admitted thrill seeker, Jimmy also enjoys bungee jumping and skydiving. Volunteerism is important to Jimmy, who is treasurer and a board member of the Ad Council and the United Neighborhood Houses of New York. He also serves on the board of the Scholastic Corporation. As CFOs go, Jimmy's something of a rock star, says John O'Brien of Cushman and Wakefield. With his intelligence, energy, and personality, he's the type of person everyone wants on their management team. Jimmy is one of the college's go-to guys, says nominator John Schrodenbach. He has served as a lecturer in the Leadership Speaker Series, and he is a current alumni board member. He hosted a recent event at Viacom headquarters and surprised his fellow alums by arranging for the Terry College logo and the Georgia G to appear on a giant marquee on Times Square. The Terry College is proud to present its 2012 Distinguished Alumni Award to Jimmy Barge.